Wagwan people of today, it's me Shiver Away, and if you want to attain heaven, you have come to the right place, because I'm going to be showing you guys how to get all the new Jojo Mythicals the fastest way, and I'm actually going to be showcasing all of them after I show you how to get them, so stick around for that as well. Now before we get into this video, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell, because we're making the best content out here on YouTube and like the video if you haven't already. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Can persevere, go forward on my own. There's a bright and shining blue light, coming through the darkness of the night. Now I can't help crying for my life, in this endless time that I live inside. Take a closer look, I see you. Alright boys, so we're in Anime Mania, so I'm gonna tell you, some of the requirements for these are absolutely crazy, so for example, let me go to my deal right here, and as you can see, I almost completed another one here, but you've got lots of stuff you gotta do, so you need to get all these characters, now this is really just RNG, what's in the shop, you have to buy them, and it shows the amounts right here, but what's gonna be really hard is this deal's diary, and I'll come back to that in a second. Now before I do that, I'm going to show you guys the other characters and their requirements so you know what to do. And uh, this just requires some corpse parts and you need Funny Valentine and a few other Johnnies. But these are th these are not as hard. Now let me find my another one of my Jornos here. Um, yeah, and this uh, Jorno is actually better with this because you really only need characters. So Jorno actually is not too hard to get if as long as you have the gems and you can grind for that pretty simply now to actually get these new artifacts you'll see that most of them are a 5% chance so this level the vampiric uh, deal rate there's nothing that really special with it all you have to do is just you just play it and there's a 5% chance same with the cars rate 5% chance and then the um, mokuyasu rate also a 5% chance now there's a 5% chance for the skull as well but what is really hard is the dio's diary which you can get in the the Dio raid and it's actually only a 2% chance now why this is so hard is because this is probably the most time consuming and most annoying out of all the raids in the game right now and I'll be showing you guys how I cheesed it and how I was able to do it really really quickly Okay guys, so the best unit to do this with is actually going to be Goku Black. So, Goku Black, I only have mine at a level 51. You can max them out. I would recommend maxing them out, but it's not going to make too much of a difference. So, as you can see, why I say you want to use Goku Black is because of the iframes you actually get and how long it actually takes for him to start up. The startups, the long startups are actually a good thing because as you can see, that makes the NPCs group up and you're able to kill the literally one shot entire waves at a time and all of your moves can just one shot entire waves so for efficiency this is probably the best way because it is only a two percent chance only a two percent chance to get this so you're gonna be doing this a lot you really need that dio's diary and there's also a chance of getting the corpse part as well the the skull and you also need the fodder units that come with this so dio the if you're doing this raid i definitely recommend Goku Black. Now I do hear that Poochie is also just as good when it comes to this but as you can see this is why I think he's the best just because you have so many moves that are gonna one shot entire waves all at one time. Now there's also a funny Valentine glitch that makes him one shot any boss in the game and you could use that however that's probably gonna be patched really quickly if it's not already patched by the time I upload this video so that's why I'm still recommending recommending uh, Goku Black so right now as you can see I use this move and by the way these can sometimes infinite combo you so you have to be um you have to be smart and make sure you don't get hit by that or you'll just get one shot so as you can see really quickly we're already at the boss and then I'm just gonna use this to clear off most of the fodder units then I'm gonna use my heavens divide and then I iframe his move that you really need those iframes because Dio does do a lot of damage but he's actually not that hard to kill so I'm gonna use this I'm uh, do you were you can just spam anything as long as yours is a high level I as I said that you should probably get yours a higher level than I have mine so I'm just gonna kill Dio right now
and he is dead. So as you can see, sometimes that's really annoying, you get nothing, but that's probably the quickest way if you don't use any glitch, which will probably be patched. Now guys, this is also really good because as I said, you'd also get the fodders that you need for Dio and some of the others from that raid. So it'll be, it's actually like you're doing a lot at once and you also need the gold and you need to level up the unit to level 40, which you'll also need gold for that as well. So once you do that, then, and you got all the other characters which you can just get from the banners and stuff, then you can go ahead and evolve them and then you'll get the new character. So I'm gonna showcase all of them right now. Now. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start off with uh, Gold Experience Requiem, this uh, this version of Jorno. So his very first move is the Life Giving Tree. As you can see, that is actually really good because not only does it do lots of AOE damage and stays up for a while, it'll actually, it'll hit your opponents, like it will continue to hit them and heal you at the same time. So that's something that's really cool about that. So let me, let me show you that a bit more. See, boom, and then every single time it pulses, it will keep hitting units and healing you. So it's going to be really hard hard to die with Jorno. So again, and remember, this is only level 1, and he's already doing this. So he, he has a pretty basic barrage. You do have iframes in it, so it's good to dodge moves against bosses. But it's a simple barrage, basically no cooldown on it. Next, you have the life-giving shot, and that is actually really OP. Does a lot of damage. It's just really, really good. And your stand AoE, just from its M1s, is big as well. You might have noticed. Now, next, we have the... And you know, before I show that, let, let me just show you the, the life-giving shot one more and I'll show you that it has basically no cooldown at all on it and I, I don't know why it just there's really no cooldown on it you can just you can just spam it it's kind of cool then you have your you can use your barrage I want I want to get to a, to a bigger way before I use the last move okay now I'm gonna show you guys the return to zero now just just look at this move First, you, you come up here, iframes the entire time, well, basically, and then you just do a lot of damage while in iframes. And you think, wow, that is an overpowered move. You must have to wait a while before you can use it again. But as you can see, I basically already have it off cooldown. Like this is a really overpowered character, and as you'd expect from a mythical. So I think since he's probably the easiest mythical from this update to get, this is probably a lot of you are gonna go for him. Let me use return to zero once more in that level one he just does so much damage as well he's definitely very good okay guys we got tusk act 4 here and johnny josar so immediately the, <laughs> the model of this looks kind of funny but besides that uh first you have his barrage and his barrage is actually as you can see it does do a lot more damage than the other barrages and it's pretty good has a low cooldown as well as well the next you got is the uh the nail shot and that's kind of like an aoe it, it's it's a decent it's actually a decent aoe i can probably show you that better and um next you have your golden triangle and that that is actually kind of like a push pull move it's another aoe and it doesn't have a long cooldown either so it's definitely very good so i'm, I'm gonna show the nail shot again just to get um just get, so you get a better idea of what it does and as you can see it does have a big aoe it's actually really good next uh, we have or finally we have the warm hole minigun so if you use this you go underground you come up and then basically it just hits everything it's as as you'd expect it's literally a minigun so it's definitely like it's really OP it does last a decent amount of time so it's definitely very good the golden triangle is another overpowered one I really like that and then you can use your barrage and you can use your nail shot after that so it's just like this guy has a lot of utility and a lot of things that you have to work with okay guys so finally we got Dio over heaven so of course this guy has an absolutely insane barrage as you can see like that barrage is <laughs> I, I don't know what you expect when you see a barrage move but it probably was not this this is uh, that is overpowered if that was the only 
any move, this character Hadi would definitely still be S tier. Now next, we have Swift Death. And basically, you, you just kill everything around you. I don't even know how that works. Like, you, you, it just kills everything around you. By the way, that barrage, you did see that correct. That is doing, like, at level 1, that much damage per tick. Next, we have the Reality Overdrive. And this will actually, not only will it heal you, but also one-shot everything around you. Like this, I think it's probably the best character in the entire game right now. You can use your Swift Death, and then, and then you know, I can't even show you the fourth movie. I'll show you that now. Now, look at this. You literally use it, you time stop, and then if you use your barrage and you spam all your moves, they are still in the time stop. So the universe hall is literally like, it's basically, uh, I think like, it's just, it'll just one shot any wave. And it does not have a long cooldown. Dio in his base form has really long cooldowns, but the universe hall does not have any long cooldown at all. You can just do this, and then spam this, and then spam this, but the hard to be dead, and you heal yourself, so he's definitely an overpowered character. He's definitely my favorite to come to the game right now. Like, I cannot stop using him. Like, it, like it's just so fun to use him. You can just use your barrage and time stop, use your reality switch, use your reality overdrive, one shot everything, and they're dead. It is definitely busted. You guys should certainly get this guy. Alright boys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Now I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, be sure to leave a like. Now I'm definitely enjoying Anime Mania. I'm really happy with this new update because we got a lot of cool characters with original abilities that aren't just reskins and they look very nice. The stands definitely look very nice. Not only that, we finally got an XP world, a way to level up our, uni our units that's actually not gonna take us 10 years. So good job to the devs for that. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one.